Hi guys, what's up? I hope you guys are doing well. So today's video is all about my weekly bathroom cleaning routine. So I know these kind of videos is something that I haven't really made in the past and um, I thought that, you know, should I make one or not? But a lot of you guys said yes when I posted on my Instagram asking you guys if you guys want uh, a cleaning routine and many of you guys said yes and were very supportive and so here it is guys and also I'm going to show you guys all my favorite cleaning products also the tips in between like the cleaning tips and all of that so yes without any further ado let's just get started with the cleaning but before that I'm going to show you guys the actual mess like how the bathroom looks like before cleaning so that you guys can also have a clear idea how it looks like after so let's just get started now let's just see what we have to clean today so as you can see there are a few stains on the bathtub and also we have got really hard water so it's really difficult to maintain this bathroom because we get the water marks all the time as you can see especially on the shower uh, i don't know if you can uh, see or not like if the camera can capture or not but there are a lot of soap scums and you know water marks on it the only reason is the hard water here and i'll show you guys a shower panel it looks quite hazy because there are a lot of soap scum and you know water marks on it and yeah see this it's so bad just within three days of cleaning it this happens because of the water here and yes talking about soap scum just look at this it's soap everywhere and again this thing it has got again the watermarks on it and uh, especially the steel here the steel you know the things that are made from steel it really gets dirty and the only reason is the hard water here and hi and yes this, i need to clean this mirror too it's a little bit dirty and um, the flow let me talk about that so i usually comb my hair not in the bedroom but in the bathroom and that's the reason you can see few hair on the floor and even on the mats the reason is i comb here and the floor that's the reason gets dirty and yeah i've just taken out everything and just kept it outside so that we can have the clear surface to clean and talking about the radiators again there are a few watermarks on it so we need to clean that too so yes let's just get started with the cleaning so first things first i use blue foam aroma i start with the toilet bowl first and this is what i use it is a very good product and i just use a cap full of it in the bowl and it instantly foams and removes lime scale and also emits really good smell and that's what i really like about this product and then i use normal uh, toilet cleaner today i'm using harpic and i just pour it in the toilet bowl and keep it that way for around 15 to 20 minutes so before the actual cleaning starts i like to wear disposable gloves this is from waitrose so i use a hand cream before wearing gloves it just makes my hands really soft after i remove the gloves that is after i clean everything when i remove the gloves it really feels so soft so that's the reason why i apply first a hand cream and then i wear my gloves to start off i just take my dustpan and the brush and i brush all the mats first because that's where all the hair is stuck <laughs> so i usually brush it through and this i think is the easiest way to take out all the hair that is stuck in there so next is to disinfect all the mats this is what i use this is by detol disinfectant spray it's for hard and soft surfaces so usually i wash all the mats but i have just washed this last week and i take around 15 to 20 days to wash all the mats so in between i just disinfect it with using this spray and yeah that's it it smells really good and it cleans really well And then I just dry all the mats under the sun. 
I like to start with the flow first and I like to sweep it with the help of a dust brush. I really love this kind of brush because it's quite easy to reach tough areas with this brush and it cleans really well. Also the bathroom is quite small so I prefer using this kind of brush because it's quite easy like instead of vacuum cleaner I prefer using this. Only once in a month I use an actual mop and uh, rest of the days I use these kind of antibacterial wipes. These are flow wipes which I got from Poundland. I just take two of these and start mopping or uh, wiping the floors. The next I clean is the bath area and I start with the tiles first. I use these two products. This is Method Multi-Surface Cleaner and it is a plant-based cleaner, completely non-toxic and it also is really good for wood, tiles and stones. So I basically use this for everything. <laughs> So the microfiber cloth that I use is from eCloth. I really love this brand. The cloths are amazing for cleaning. So I just spray my method cleaner and just wipe it down with the eCloth. And yeah, that's it. It makes the tiles really shiny. For the watermarks and lime scale, this is the star product. It is from Viacal. It is really good for removing lime scale and any kind of soap scum and watermarks. So what I do is just spray it and wipe it down with a damp e-cloth. You can instantly see the difference after spraying it and wiping it down. It just makes the surface quite shiny. For the sharp panel, I again use the wire kill cleaner and just spray it and wipe it down with a damp e cloth. For the bathtub, I'm just going to spray a little bit of water and then use extra large antibacterial wipes. With that, I'm going to use Method Bathroom Cleaner. This is again the non-toxic cleaner. I really love Method products. It really buffs away any kind of dirt and also it just makes it shine. This area is now all clean and shiny. Let's move on to the tiles and also the wooden cabinet. For the tiles, wooden cabinet, granite, any kind of stone, I use the similar pink grapefruit method cleaner. This is a very good cleaner and also it can be easily used on the wooden surface. Let's move on to the basin area. For the granite, I use something that is really important and that's granite wipes. These are from Waitrose. It's stainless steel and granite wipes. And with that, I use Method Pink Grapefruit, the similar one. And I just spray it and wipe it down. It doesn't really change the color of the granite and it takes care of uh, the stone as well as it just makes it shiny and clean. For a moment, For the dirty tap area, I just use the vehicle and just spray it and then wipe it with the cloth. It just makes it really shiny and for the basin, I just use the bathroom cleaner by method and using an antibacterial wipe, I just scrub it and then clean it. Now let's move on to the mirror. For this, I use kitchen towel. Kitchen towel does the work really well. I just spray the method bathroom cleaner and then wipe it down just like that. So I just flush the blue and the hard pick that we had previously poured into the toilet bowl and then I just sprayed the method bathroom cleaner with an antibacterial wipe just wiped it down and it is really good if you want to thoroughly clean it.
for the radiators i again use the stainless steel granite wipes this is from waitrose and i just wipe it down and this wipes is just enough to make it very shiny and to make it look really clean With you, yeah. so that was it guys i hope you guys like this video and in future if you want these kind of cleaning videos then do comment and let me know thank you so much guys for watching it bye for now